is a rally car. It may not look like much sitting here. Just a regular car with a few bells and whistles under the hood, right? Wrong. This machine may look like a Clark Kent, but once it's turned on, it's a supercar. The ride you pick up at the local dealer is related to the rally car, but we're talking distant cousins here. Really distant. In fact, the only thing that's left from your car on this machine are the lights. Turbocharger, big brakes, steering. It's all redesigned for speed, control, and handling. To beat an insanely difficult course without killing anybody. Let's see how it works. First, speed and control. Two things make that happen. The engine for acceleration, the brakes for taking corners and maintaining control. High-end rally car engines pump out over 300 horsepower. Thanks in large part to its turbocharger, which is basically a turbine placed in the car's exhaust. The turbine spins up to 150,000 RPM, 30 times faster than the engine. All that spinning powers a compressor that sucks in the air from outside, compresses it, and injects it into the engine's combustion chamber. More air means you can burn more fuel with explosive results. And all that power shows up here at the start line, where it rockets the car up to 100 kilometers an hour in under four seconds. And that speed is great on the straightaways of a rally course. But these races are won and lost in the corners, where small mistakes cost valuable time. To master corners, this machine needs some serious stopping power. And it comes from some of the best brakes money can buy. Most cars have disc brakes with a single piston that move a brake pad onto a disc that slows the wheel. But they would literally disintegrate out here. A rally car needs as many as eight to maintain speed and control. What about this challenge? A 180-degree hairpin turn. Top drivers make it look easy. A regular car and its driver? Not so much. Rally cars come equipped with a powerful handbrake that allows for this kind of action. You may use yours to park, but this machine's not built for standing still. Its lever sits next to the steering wheel so the driver can grab it quickly. An independent hydraulic system locks the car's rear wheels and around you go. Now that's what this machine is all about. It's also all about staying on the road. The steering wheel is coated with a felt that locks in the driver's gloves like Velcro. You don't want to lose your grip out here. These paddles shift a gear in 50 milliseconds without the driver ever letting go of the wheel. And that's important because the difference between winning and losing a rally race is measured in fractions of seconds. When driver and machine get it done right, the champagne flows. If either slips up, the results are decidedly more painful. For speed, 
agility, and durability, nothing compares to a rally car. This machine may look like the one in the showroom, but don't go bringing your ride out here. This domain is reserved for the supercar. Up next, 